Folks, we're in with the TPM24. We have the pleasure of meeting Bill Driegert with technology and the application. That's a key thing is that there's so much stuff that's new. It's the latest, greatest. But have you maximized the efficiency of what you've got is one of the challenges. And then integrate any new technology is one of the things. I guess one of the things I'm looking at is as far as what you're doing in the trucking industry, it seems like what I've heard of this new platform uh, is that it, it, it's going to reduce a lot of the, shall we say, the peripheral or circumstantial static yeah. and make things a lot more simpler for every all the parties involved. Would that be a, a fair assessment? Yeah, it's, it makes it simpler and also gives control to what I say is the endpoints or the people actually doing the work. Mm -hmm. Because I think that the best technology really starts with execution. It starts in the front lines. And that's why Convoy is very focused on the drivers, mm -hmm. right? Putting technology in the hands of the drivers. Because again, before the app wave took off, nobody was thinking, particularly for brokers, intermediaries, 3PLs, shippers, they were never thinking about what's the tech in the hands of the drivers. Carriers were thinking about that, but the tools weren't always there. And it makes it so much easier because the driver knows when they arrive and they depart, as an example, simple example. The driver's the one that handles the POD. Uh, 10 years ago, if I got that POD, I had to go to the truck stop, I had to fax it, I had to upload it, somebody else had to hand it on the other end. Yep. If you think about it, how much simpler, it's all that busy work has gone away. Because now I just, I'm, I've got the POD, I take a picture, it automatically uploads. That's, it's, those steps don't go away, but all those intermediate layers where you got people handing things back and forth, or retyping information, like that friction is what ultimately gets streamlined over time. Well, and, and the system, as you just mentioned, it's called Convoy. It's uh, taking care and making everybody in the, in the whole process much more productive. Um, but I think what's, to me, what I've seen on this is that you're basically Again, is of what I've seen. So help me on that. Like you almost have to draw pictures for me, right? Is you're matching up um, shippers who have loads to the available resources that are out there. Maybe it's a, a trucking company, or maybe it's an individual owner operator. Is that pretty fair? Yeah, that's that's correct. And if you think about it from the owner operator perspective, historically it's hard for them to get to make that match because they just only have view to so many loads and they have to call brokers or shippers to get access. And usually if I'm a small carrier, I'm never getting access with a big Fortune 500 directly. And I'm working through a broker, I'm going through a traditional load board. It's a very manual process. So to be able to just do that within an app, that's, it just really empowers them. Because now they can book freight at you know, 1 a.m. they do a drop off and they look and their loads canceled the next day at, at 10 a.m. Well, I can start looking for loads at 2 a.m. and book a load in the middle of the night when everybody else is sleeping. And we see that every day. You see loads just moving 24 seven. Uh, so in your development of this, let me ask this question before we get into a couple other on the on the convoy itself is why Flexport? I mean, there was lots of folks in the industry that were interested in the uh, technology and the programming and all of that that, that you're uh, obviously bringing to the table. Why Flexport? Yeah, it's interesting because after we went through this deal, I heard from a lot of other companies that, hey, we were considering it, we were interested. Um, I think part of it was we were uh, just there was the the way the deal went down is we were able to move faster because it's a founder led company. It's private. I think that just gave us a lot more flexibility Two, we are a tech driven company. We've always been tech forward. We have an incredible technology culture. So there's a culture fit uh, and most of the team uh, on Convoy. In fact, pretty much all the team is in is in Bellevue, as an example, and we already had development. We already had offices there and there was familiarity and there's people that knew people. So there was a cultural fit as well. And from a overlap, it's, it really supplements stuff, our capabilities. We were already headed in this direction. We were already investing. I came on with the mandate to really go deep in this space and build out trucking capabilities and build out similar capabilities. So we were already headed down this path. This just moved us forward a couple of years in that path. Well, I, you know, Flexport itself is a company, in my opinion, that is, uh, and in, in the opinion of many, that are, it's a disruptor, if you will, in the industry. It's been a positive one. Um, and with your history and, and whatnot, I, there's no question that you are a visionary that sees well beyond and actually make some of those visions reality as far as dreaming, if you will. Uh, so I have a lot of respect for that. But in looking at all right, let's talk about your convoy just for a second is your expectations of that. Um, it, it's, it's a platform where you're matching up the, the, um, the loads to the resources. And then it, from what I also understand, again, if, if some of the research in doing it, 
is it also you help facilitate the financial transaction of there of of uh, not only the shippers and payment of the truckers and, and all of that. So can you talk a little bit about that kind of uh, scenario there? Yeah, and we're in a bear market right now, and for the small carriers, cash flow absolutely matters. So we facilitate fast pay. We do uh, one or two day quick pay options with uh, best in class uh, finance charges on those. It's, it's only one percent if you do a two day quick pay. Mm -hmm. So that definitely um, carriers love that. I mean, for the small carriers, cash flow matters. You know, every dollar matters. So we want to make sure that we get money to them quickly. Uh, and, but ultimately, it's again, it's about access to the to the freight. They just have more options, and then. If you think about it from their perspective, the prices are up front. They can decide yes or no, I want to engage in this load. They see where the relative prices are. They're getting paid quickly. They have a lot of control in that as well. And they have other, you know, they ultimately, they have other options if they want to go to other options. So if they're picking convoys because it's the right price, because they know they're going to get paid quickly, because it's an easy interface and everything works for them. So as far as your target uh, audience uh, for this platform, uh, obviously you've talked about the uh, you know individual owner operator uh, type uh, truck drivers, which is great as far as resources. I'm sure small trucking companies and anybody who wants to participate. But the other side of that would be uh, what? Freight forwarders or individual factories or, or what? Who, who are you trying to target with this? Yeah, so we actually, we, we have our own existing shippers who now have new truckload options as a result and will have better truckload or technology that will give them better visibility, access to this capacity. So we're plugging it into all our current Flexport ecosystem with our existing forwarder shippers who also have truckload freight. There are legacy uh, convoy shippers who saw a ton of value in the product that we're turning back on um, that as soon as, you know, as soon as we indicated we were going to turn it back on, they reached out and they were excited to have it being back on the platform. There's also other third parties. So we've opened this up to other brokerages that have their own freight and their mm -hmm. own shipper relationships because we recognize that that owner-operator small carrier capacity, it's hard for a traditional broker to access that. And so we view this as a platform that allows them to access that. And it really gives the carriers more options as a result. So the core product and the real value is, again, that carrier base. And then how do we plug that in? And then how do we build all the technology to allow for pricing and load coordination, load tendering around that? and to really improve the logic at every step of the process. And so Flexport historically hadn't invested heavily in these capabilities. We're really investing at every level now. And Convoy brings all that to the table. And yeah. All right, well, I understand you did a soft launch that was very, very successful as you were talking about. So then you have officially launched it now. So uh, are you uh, Willing, I guess, to talk about how many, you know, if you will, truckers or customers or seem to be coming on board, or is that something you can reveal yet? I can't, I can't share all those numbers. I can share that before they wound down, they had uh, about 400,000 drivers on the platform, and the majority of the drivers that we're reaching out to are signing back up. And in fact, the vast majority of drivers did not uninstall the app. So we're messaging them, we're sending targeted comms. As we turn on markets and lanes, right. reaching out to drivers and carriers, and we're finding those carriers are signing back up with a uh, you know, very high percent of them are signing back on. So uh, we're pretty, we think we can get back to scale here pretty quickly in terms of where Convoy was and uh, customers are eager to come back on. So it's a pretty exciting time. So uh, as we kind of wrap up on, on this, what do you see as far as the future for Convoy? I mean, you're, you're probably very focused for the next you know, 12, 18 months getting this going and, and maximizing efficiency from the system itself. And getting people on the uh, on that. So, um, with that, do you see any other you know modes of transportation you're looking at, or or enhancements that will be coming in any time soon? Yeah, we're definitely going to expand into other modes within the Flexport mm -hmm. ecosystem. And uh, one of the exciting things of doing this within Flexport is that we just do everything everywhere, and it's a global company. So certainly, as we look at the tech, we want to expand it into every channel in which we operate. Um, I mean, the obvious next step within that, we've got. We're expanding it for brokers is the next step. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of drayage, we do a lot of cars, we do a lot of LTL. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity if you look in the drayage market where owner operators, uh, there's a lot of owner operators in the drayage space. Uh, there's an opportunity to enable them with app and cross dispatch them. So I think there's, you know, there's a lot of interesting extensions as we think about where this can go. 
Well, folks, I'm going to tell you, this has been phenomenal. This is uh, Flexport is a company to definitely watch. Convoy is the software platform, and it's one of those that if you uh, are a service provider, you're an actual uh, you know, factory or, or shipper, as well as in owner operators and, and trucking company, definitely this is a, uh, a platform you ought to at least check out and see if you're interested in it. So any final words, Bill? No, I appreciate the time. This is um it's great to catch up. Yeah, appreciate it. For all those uh, at TPM24, we thank you so much for uh, the conference and uh, you guys uh, tuning in. And for Simply Trade, Sandy Shiles. Thank you.